This one might take a little while. So, let's see. Um, there's a lot of room out here. So, I want y'all to grab a chair. Pull the chair over. Make room for everybody. And, uh, okay, I want the vegans on this side over here. On this side. I want the carnivores over here on this side. Okay? Everybody, come on. Put your chairs in. All right, now let's fill in. Now all the vegetarians. Okay, over here. All right, now over there, let's have some, all the raw foodies. Uh, all the all the juicers. Are you with me? Everybody, come on in. Come on in. Make room. Make room. Make room everywhere. Okay, are you with me? Now let's include, let's bring all the Atkins people in. All right, let's bring all the Atkins. Every diet that's ever been set, all the people that believe in sugar, no sugar, carbs, no carbs, high protein, all the muscle builders in there. Okay, now let's make a little more room here. Scooch over. Bring it in. Bring it in. All right. Now for everybody who's on a specific diet because of an illness. Come on. Make room for everybody. Scooch over. Scooch over. Okay, now let's go for the other countries. The other countries that eat things different than you do. Let's go up to the tundra where it's snow all the time. Okay, let those people in. All right, everybody. Let them in. Let's go to the different communities where they grow different things, where rice is the primary part of their diet. Fish, primary part of their diet. Come on, make room. Everybody, make your way in. All right. Now let's deal with uh, all the bulimics, all the people with super high metabolisms and what how they eat. Okay, now let's make room for the obese and the morbidly obese. Let them in. Scooch over, guys. Come on, let them in. All right, are you with me? Okay, who else have we got? Okay, now we're going to make some room. It won't take much to make room for these guys. Let's make some room for the breatharians, the ones that breathe in chi. Come on, you join the group too. Everybody, come on in. All right, now let's bring in the sun gazers. Okay, now let's go off. Anybody that eats insects, horses, kangaroos, cats, dogs. I don't care. Whatever you eat, whatever you ingest, whatever you pull in to keep this human skin suit alive, I want you to join. I want you to join. All right? You're listening to my voice. This is the one video that I would not mind having a 4 billion views because I think everybody needs to hear it. Okay? All right. Now let's add people that believe that eggs are good for you, bad for you, cheese good for you, bad for you. Okay, anything that you've ever believed in your life was a good diet that you've stuck with. Your family was a healthy family. They raised you on a certain diet, so you believe in it. Your family raised you with a bad diet, so you changed to a different diet, and now you're healthy and you believe in it. Everybody? All right, how's my group here? Way, way out there. We're at about four billion now. Plenty of seats. We can all hear each other because we're all one and it's magic of internet. Are you with me? Now the question that I've gotten over and over and over and over again is what do I need to eat? What is the best thing to eat to become enlightened? Now I have said that I've told you guys to eat vibrationally, to follow your body. And a lot of people are not listening to that. I've told you that what I want to go to is no food. And then there are people that really love food and they want to give it up. Okay, join me, scooch, pull up a chair. I've told you what I want to do. But let's break this down in the truth. The truth that I don't think I've ever heard anybody say. Ever. And this is the truth, guys. The truth is that you don't need any of it. You never have. It's an illusion. It's based on belief systems. And all of those belief systems that each of you have, turn around, Look at the chair next to you. Those belief systems you have accumulated over your life for whatever reasons, and you've developed a belief system that this or that is the way to go. Now, that is how the third dimension was created. But you are humans, and this is how humans work. They accumulate data on accuracies. And whether or not they've accumulated five accuracies or five million accuracies, they will accumulate these accuracies. 
They will put them in a pamphlet or a book or they'll pass them on to their kids, put them in their church or their, their governments. And then they'll say, these accuracies, we have decided, are all of the accuracies. And therefore, these accuracies, this group of accuracies, is the truth. And this truth is the only truth, and we're the only ones that have it. And anybody who doesn't follow this truth is wrong. Until you guys decide that you change your accuracies. Now then what happens is you start somebody else collects at your, at, at a group of, of accuracies and you either join their group, add to the accuracies, you can throw out the ones you've already got, you accumulate more altogether. But usually what happens is humans will either hang on to the accuracies or beliefs that they have and stand in their truth or, based on their life, they will throw out the accuracies that they've already got accumulate more, and stand in their truth. Now, what they don't understand is you are a creator God, and whatever you believe, the universe, law of the universe will give you back in your life proof of whatever your belief system is. You've got it upside down and backwards. You think that what is in front of you is proof of your beliefs, when in reality, your beliefs have created the proof. <clears throat> so my beliefs are proven by my what I see and experience because the law of attraction gives me the God me whatever I believe and we can stand next to each other and you will be doing the same thing so even though our belief systems may be very different the proof in our lives what we see feel and experience will be proof to support our beliefs and we can do that standing side by side but because humans don't understand that that's how it works people start fighting they say, well, I don't understand. I am right in this. That's the reality out there, and I've got proof to my beliefs. Why don't you believe my beliefs? Because they don't understand that that God standing next to them has, have a, is having a very different experience. The law of attraction is showing them completely different things that are supporting the beliefs that they believe as a creator God. So everyone in this room who has a belief system on what you should or should not eat to have a healthy body the beliefs will be supported in your experience. That's the way it must be. You are a God, all of you. Now, what happens out on the other side is we know we're all connected. We know that we're all gods. Here, you've forgotten. And your human brains can only collect so much accuracies, and you decide when you're going to collect them and when they're going to become a truth, and then you argue about them. As you go to 5D, instead of arguing about which accuracies are truth, what you'll start realizing is that they're all truth. And they all are a part of the truth, the all that is, the biggest truth of all. And that all you're doing is seeing a per small percentage of accuracies. So it becomes like that blind man who's never seen an elephant, who touches the elephant, you know, and he says, he tells everybody, well, an elephant's just like an orange. Is that accurate? Well, yes, from his perspective, it is accurate statements. The skin does feel like an orange. There's a curved area that's kind of curvy that's like an orange. But is it the truth? Absolutely not. But without having all the data from all the perspectives, you can't get to the whole truth. And as a human in a human skin suit, with a brain that limits what you can accumulate over time and with the inability to accept other people's accuracies and add them to your own to get towards the truth with this need of it being my way or your way and that these accuracies simply don't look like they connect, that they don't all belong in the same truth, it's simply because you're too far apart. Once you fill in all the accuracies across everything that all that is, then you see the truth, and the truth includes all accuracies. It's just that that concept is too big for you to fathom right now, so you can only handle a few accuracies at a time, so you switch them up, and then you fight about them. And this is what causes contrast, duality, time-space, and has created the, the uh, experience of third dimension. Okay? So as you come out of this, you will learn to smile sweetly at whoever 
has got their accumulation of accuracies and they have ended up at a truth. And you will know that that is another aspect of you that is simply looking at things through this group of accuracies and has a belief system that believes in a single truth that is a part of the all that is. So there becomes no need to fight anymore. It becomes curiosity. What is your truth? What are your accuracies? Let me add them to my own. Because at the end of the day, guys, 5D, you don't need any of what you just said. All Everybody who's here in front of me with all of those chairs, including the sun gazers and the breatharians, none of that is necessary. You don't need any of that. This human body doesn't need any of it. It can live without any of that. It doesn't need to breathe. The heart doesn't need to beat. Nothing needs to occur for this human body to exist. It is only based on your individual belief systems that makes it so. And as long as you believe that a person's got to breathe or they'll die, guess what will happen? When they stop breathing, they will die. Everything that you see will show that. But it's not the truth. It's not the truth. So on your way to the fifth dimension, as I call the fifth dimension, you will let go of not the need to eat, per se, but the understanding that it was never a need to begin with. That you don't need to breathe. You don't need to do anything. You can do all of it because you want to. But you don't need to do any of it. You never have. But it was a part of the game for you to believe that you needed all that stuff so that you could forget the God that you are and play this lowly, weak, human being. All right? How's that? Do y'all get it? Now, in the process, that's the reason why these videos are so tricky. If I talk to one of you, and let's say you have diabetes, and I'm reading just you, I'm going to tell you that this is what you should do, eat, say, do, whatever. Because that's your individual path based on your individual beliefs, your accuracies. You can change those at any given time. Any given time. Everybody will walk out of those that understanding that you don't have all the accuracies and the person standing next to you has a different bunch of them. And when you start accepting and merge them into your accuracies, you're closer to the truth. That's when you get to the other side, is the merging of all that is. The perception of a leaf, a bug, uh, a child, a baby. The other human next to you, men, women, everything. That that's a part of who you are. And you can choose to be right. And you always will be. Because your accuracies that you put together and you believe are truth will always be supported by what is around you because the law of attraction will make it so. Because you've called for it. The second, the second that you understand this fact and walk your own walk and say, I don't care what anybody else is doing. I'm curious. Let me see what your accuracies are. And that's what I'm reaching out with most of you guys. Saying, let me see, what, what, what have you got? What did you accumulate in your life? Not because I want to change it in you. I don't want to change a darn thing. I want to join with you. I want you to add your accuracies to mine so we'd be closer to the truth. We can walk out of this. As long as you're duking it out amongst each other, whether or not your truth with your limited number of accuracies is more right than the person next to you, then you will never, ever, ever, ever step into 5D. Not the 5D I know of. Because it is truly the understanding that we all have a part of the puzzle that gets you to 5D where we can share it all. As long as you believe you have all the answers and nobody else does, that keeps you out of oneness. It keeps you out of merging with 5D. It's not a threat. It's not anything bad. It's simply a different way to play the game. That's how it works. Okay? All right, guys. I'm going to hold it off right there. If y'all don't have any questions after this video, well, okay, I'll uh, push pause and try another video. All right, guys. If you would, please subscribe. really helps. Thumbs up, if you will. 
And, uh, you know, I love you very, very much. Please ask any question that you have in your mind. It's easier for me to come up with subjects. If you want me to revisit something, uh, I think I might do some videos on aliens and government. You guys seem to be fascinated by that. And, well, I have a lot to say if you're interested. All right, guys. Huge hugs, and I'll see you later. Bye now.